this is the last video on this, but it's like so much is running through me. I just need to document it. Um, so look, it's just, it's like a, a giant paradox because it's, I always, I don't know why I think of the story of Jesus and we war, like, I don't even know how many, that's, ugh, there's just too many topics about all this that I know are controversial and not everyone wants, I don't, I don't follow the, I don't follow the Bible. Like, I don't, I don't read it. I don't know that many of the stories. I know a few stories, but we are, the ego messes everything up. So it's like, how can you even believe certain things? Because that's what happens to everything is that something starts to become popular and then we twist it. And so anyway, it's just, it's hard to believe that any of the stories are like, that's exactly what happened. And I've heard another story of Jesus and that he was just another human that he healed himself and then became a healer, but people around him couldn't understand. They couldn't, they couldn't wrap their head around how is this man doing what he's doing. And so they threw rock stones at him and then they put him on a cross and whatever. Like, so that's what happens. It's like the darkness doesn't, can't, like when people are just stuck in their own mind, they can't understand something outside of that. And so we try to destroy it. Um, and that's what happens. Like that's the awakening process is like you start to grow in awareness, but the people around you are still trying to pull you back down. So that's where it's like, at some point you have, you start to see more and more and more like the ridiculous, the like, what is the word? The madness of it all. And you start to realize, holy F, these people are literally just trying to get my energy and the stories don't make any sense. My mom called me today out of the blue to tell me to like, I mean, it wasn't, I wasn't completely irrational, but it was just like something that I, it was ambiguous. It's like, I know, I know this already. Like, that's the thing. Like I noticed that recently is I'm like, every time we ever have a conversation, it's either something about Teddy, something dramatic that's happened, some big news, something, it's always some like fear story or, or like, um, or small talk. And it's like that you're just wait. It's, I hate this sounds mean cause it does, it feels mean, but it's like, it's, it's a waste of time. It's like anything just to take your time and energy. And that's what, that's the shift that happens because the more your vibration goes up, the more like, um, the darkness is going to try to like pull you back down. You okay? Um, but you're growing, you're growing in your awareness and you're, ca you're able over time, you're able to catch people and their stories, um, more quickly. But, and that's to me why it's like, I don't want to get mad. I don't want to like flip a table. <laughs> I want to be, I actually did do that once. I don't want to get that mad. I don't want to have those kinds of reactions anymore, but it is like using that anger to like focus your energy to not let all the Decepticons pull you back into their chaos because you worked so hard to get out of that. And whatever you want to say about it, whatever your situation is, whatever the case may be, it's like, um, no one else is here to like, you know, it's like one of those weird things where it's like, no, you got to do it. You know, you just got to, you, no one else is going to help you in this. Like you're the lone wolf now and you got to figure this out, um, to pull yourself all the way up to 5d, you know, to create that environment that you can hold a higher vibration and you don't have people like constantly trying to pull you back down. Um, anyways, just the insights are just like coming to me. So I'm just letting them out.